hello guys i want to talk about this beautiful lady who i believe is a senegalese american like you know like my children type of a person who may be born in the america or uk or they maybe are brought up here due to their parents living here but you can tell that she have accent that is a senegalese and american i like to watch her videos her page is called sd this is her name but um she have this name on her page but if you just type the word s and the letter d you will see her sorry the letter s and d you see her page her page is very uh entertaining and educative she talk about current affairs that is worth talking about to her page not every single current affair but she also talk about um stories and especially story, stories times like people will tell her what they um go through with wrong marriages especially and she can make awareness for the community to learn the toxic behavior that we have to change. She talk about toxic behavior in the community mainly, but she doesn't do live uh, most of the time like I do, or at least I don't see her, but she does videos explaining things in details and in a very, very professional way, entertaining and just good, awesome videos. I've been following her for a long time. But she recently, I don't know how long ago was that, but I believe it's not long. She talked about the unaliving or the mysterious uh, unaliving, the mystery of past, mysterious past, passing away of AA black women in Gambia or just some uh, even black British women who moved to Gambia and they've been unalive. And just, it doesn't make sense for the last two years, it's up to eight people or around eight people who are unalive and just it's no end of excuse for the reason of them not being alive these people are healthy active people some are even like pro um africans uh, like pan-african or something like this people that eat healthy or just want a healthy life and want african stuff and when they go there you can see that they're healthy and fit and they have no health condition that should lead them to pass in a way uh, the way they did. Some are definitely found, uh, 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 people find them that they've been murdered. But some, for example, one of the story of one of the lady, her husband uh, said that they were sleeping at night and her husband get up. Her husband said the woman get up in the middle of the night, sorry, went to the toilet, came back and have a heart attack, something like this, or had the heart attack uh, when she was in the toilet. For example, the husband was a Gambian man and they were in bed sleeping and they woke up and the woman is no more alive or the woman is not well, you know, and end up in the hospital and no more alive. Immediately, everything happened like this. And the, the, the husband was saying that in the middle of the sleep, the woman woke up and went to the toilet or before she went to the toilet, she had a heart attack or after she went to the toilet, something like this from nowhere. And, and, and there's no proof that she died of heart attack, just the husband's mouth. And then the husband was very angry that why they bring in the body to America without him coming with the body like and they're not even properly married they're not even like know each other for long and the man was younger and the man took the woman house and the woman stuff that she left you know when she passed away in gambia which also says a lot and the fact that he was angry that he wanted to come to america with the body all the stories like that crazy stories one of the lady that also passed away who i was watching on youtube for years was seeing how she was being followed and how she was feeling like she's not feeling safe in Gambia because of the man that she was um, dating with that was abusive and just not good to her. And when she left the man, the man was following her and the man did not want her to end the relationship. And she was saying how she feels like she's been followed by the man or the man paying other people to follow her. And she ended up also passing away like this. So they all just passing away mysteriously up to eight of them, like I said, for the last two years, between two, um, 2022 to 2004. I'm uh, sorry, 14. And that's a very small amount of time for eight women or six or seven even to be on alive, um, to, to be mysterious death in Gambia, like I said, when especially they don't have any health condition or enough proof that whatever they say that... Um, unalive them unalive them but also some of them like i said are unalive and people find their found their bodies this is enough reason for us to make awareness for this but also gambians and africa in general people have been unalive unnecessary unaliving doesn't matter they're from the country or not 
what we all know on a live wing is all over the world but apparently africa especially gambia you're not allowed to talk about anything that is happening there that is not good they keep uh attacking this woman bullying her in the comments and attacking her talking about her and attacking her for that video even though she's Senex, she sounds like Senegalese, American, like I said. And all Senegalese are Gambian, a lot of them. Or they're related to Gambian. Well, me, my dad is from Senegal. All Gambians, or, or a lot of Gambians, sorry, are either from Senegal, or they, 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 their dad is from Senegal, or their mom, or one person in their family is married to Senegalese and have, and have Senegalese blood. All Gambians. If you're not from Senegal, your dad is not from Senegal, your mom, your grandparents, nobody's from Senegal, you definitely have very close blood of you that is married to Senegalese. Every single Gambian in the world. That's the fact. Well, 99.9% .9 of Gambians then. But people like me, a lot of Gambians are like me, one parent Gambian, one parent Senegalese. And Gambia, if you remove the Senegalese that are there now, Gambia will not work because of Gambia is that many Senegalese. And when you talk about Gambian, doesn't matter who talk about it, they will bully you. When you talk about Gambian problem, the stuff that people have to face and face reality and agree with it, they will bully you. Doesn't matter who talk about it, if you are Gambian or not. Just like you see them bullying me, telling me you are lying, you are lying. Whenever you're talking, they're like, you're lying, you're lying, like a mad person. They do that to everyone. Even though this woman was talking with resources, be giving them resources and where they can find resources in her video she talked very professional in her videos they were still bullying her and they, they look at her page they know her work they're still bullying her that she mentioned the reality i want her to know that the gambians are sick i know some people bully you when, it, you, when you talk about their country doesn't matter who you are even if you're from that country yourself or you live there or you just have a humankind that's just the reality even though I'm living here in Scotland, when I talk about certain Scottish stuff, some Scotland people will tell me, well, it's none of your business or go back to your country if you don't like it. But that's different from you talking about Gambia stuff or Senegal stuff. And you're Gambian and Senegalese. We all want people. But I know whenever I talk about Senegalese stuff, there's always Senegalese people that are going to tell me, don't talk. You know, you're not Senegalese or it's none of your business. Even though some of them don't know or they know that one of my parents is Senegalese. But even if I was not like that, I have right to talk about it. Because Gambia and Senegal is one. We have a ferry that goes between the two countries. Every single day, the ferry will bring a lot of Senegalese to Gambia to work. A lot of Senegalese are in Gambia working. Especially doing business. They're making a lot of money. Some of them are more successful in Senegal than the people abroad in Senegal. And they make their money from Gambia. That's another story. A lot of Gambians complaining that why Gambians are not making money in Gambia and the foreigners making it. It's because they don't want to make money in Gambia. A lot of Gambians look Gambia down and don't want to invest, don't want to work, hate Gambians, hate children and women. Never will give them human rights. Never will focus on the children going to school and having a, a, a developed nation and growing up without childhood trauma like severe beating, SA, FGM lack of school education giving their mothers bad marriage and until she can't even have peace to give the children the life they deserve she's busy selling some onion or selling some um whatever she can sell in the market all day because of no money to give the children which the father should do but most of the time the father is busy marrying two three wives do some of the men they even abroad here and the, the money they're sending home the money they're sending home for the wife and children to eat is not even enough for some of them but they have money for another wife or money to buy houses or money to give girlfriend or money to save but they don't have money to give enough money for this woman and her children when allah told him to do that allah tell them to house clothes and feed the woman and they don't do that they watch the woman going through severe child beating from the places they're trying to learn quran called dara to whom? To everywhere. The women and children, boys uh, in general in Africa, especially Gambia, the men watching them to be neglected, a lot of them, a lot of the men, they don't talk. And when you talk, they bully you. 
They program the children, uh, you know, to, to be wicked by beating them, torturing them. They programming them, them that woman is a piece of shit, which gonna lead to this life and bad marriages. And they'll never talk, and they don't want nobody to talk. But keep doing your.